Hello everyone, I hope you're having a lovely day. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm doing a Scrapping for Less Design Team project using this adorable stamp set. She is, it's from Stamping Bella and she's called Blanche the Butterfly. She's part of one, um, one of the images from the Tiny Towny collections and she is gorgeous. And um, I'm looking forward to playing with her. I, lo um, I love the way this little gal looks. She's just so dainty and whimsical. But we're gonna start off by doing some stamping. I'm going to grab a piece of um, Nina Classic Crest Solar White 80 pound cardstock. I'm just going to place that in my stamp platform here and then I'm going to add my image. We're going to pick her up and then I'm going to stamp her with or ink her up with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Now I'm going to color her in with my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. And she just stamps so beautifully. A lot of detail, and I like the fine lines of the stamp. Okay, now I only left a, a portion of the coloring in. Um, she did take a little bit of time to color in. And um, actually, if I were to do it again, I probably would have used a watercolor cardstock, only because I had a little bit of a problem blending. Um, but I'm going to go in with two colors of pinks. This is the darker one. And then I'm going to blend out that color with my Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen. I wanted her, I wanted my image today to have tons of sparkle. So here I'm just blending it out. And you can see it's not blending out as well as I, I wanted it to, but it does have a lot of super sh shiny sparkle, and I like that. Her dress has little panels on it, so I'm alternating the colors with the light and the dark. And just using my Sparkle Pen to blend it out. Okay, now for her wings, I used some blues and greens, and um, I blended them together to create a teal color. And, and then I did use my white gel pen to add a little bit of white accent to it. But um, after I have her all colored in, I'm just going to fussy cut her out. And you can see here, I was having a problem just um, blending out that color. But the outcome, I think she turned out really pretty. But Again, high tight, I think I probably would have used the watercolor cardstock. Now to give her more and more sparkle, I chose some um, Nouveau Crystal Drops. These are, or Glitter Drops. These are White Blizzard, and I went around her wings. So she is full of sparkle, and I really like the way that is. Very, very fun. Okay, now for my background, I'm taking a stitched rectangle die. This will cut out a panel that's four inches by five and a quarter, and this will be for my background. And then I wanted to add a little bit more, so I grabbed a stitched dome die that I had from my stash. And using white cardstock, I'm going to cut out a dome frame. Okay, now I'm going to flip my frame around, and we're going to add some. We're going to need a little bit of dimension behind here, so I'm just using some thin foam tape, and I'm going to place that around my frame. Now, for links to all the products that I use today. Um, I'll have I'll have a list on my blog and then um, if you're interested in the stamp set I think there's a limited amount available but um, I'll leave it in the description area for you below so I have my frame popped up here Okay, now kind of using that as a guide, I wanted to add a little bit of color in my background. So I'm going to go in with my Peacock Feathers Distress Oxide Ink. And I'm just going to do a little bit of shading. I wanted a little bit of a blue halo behind, um, behind Blanche. <laughs> and I wasn't worried too much about um, blending it out too well because most of it's going to be covered. Okay, now she doesn't have a sentiment, so I grabbed one from my stash. I grabbed one that says is all we need so that's the second part of my sentiment and I'm going to stamp that with my VersaFine ink and then just use my scissors I'll block off that sentiment Okay, now for the first part, we need to finish it off. So I chose a love die that I had in my stash also. And I'm going to die cut that out with a piece of black cardstock. 
So my sentiment will read, love is all we need. I think that went really well with my, my beautiful little Blanche there. <laughs> okay, I, I, I cut out my love. Just gonna poke out the extra pieces there. Okay, now we're gonna kind of arrange how we want my, my little scene to look. I'm just gonna remove the adhesive backing here off of my frame. I'm gonna go ahead and place that on my panel. And I got it crooked again. And I guess it wouldn't be one of my cards if I didn't get something crooked in it, but I straightened it up and I'm just gonna trim off the excesses, excess. <laughs> Okay. Now, I know Blanche is going to go here. I'm just kind of figuring out where I want everything to go. And I think that's going to look great, just right there. So I'm actually going to pop up Blanche with some foam tape. And I'm also going to pop up the word love, just using some super thin foam tape. There's some wider areas on that love die, and so the thin foam tape will work perfectly to pop that up. I'm just gonna place that on my panel, right below the dome. I wanna add some foam tape behind Blanche, and then we're going to secure her to the panel as well. I love all the sparkle that, that she has. <laughs> I'm going to add a piece of foam tape behind the rest of my sentiment. And at first I was going to place it a little bit to the right. And then these changed my mind. I decided to center it on the bottom there. Lovely. Okay, I'm gonna grab my card base. I have an A2 size card base. It's a four and a quarter by five and a half inch top folding card bases. Card, card base. Boy, I just can't talk today, can I? <laughs> I'm gonna add some foam tape behind my panel and add that to my card base. Now for some bells and whistles, I went in with some of my um, green and blue little gems. I'm just placing them around my little image. And just to bring the black from the sentiment all the way up, I added a few extra little dots. Controlled splatter, I call it, <laughs> with my black marker there. And I think she turned out really fun. Okay, here's a close-up of what she looks like. And again, links will be in the description area if you're interested. Um, thanks so much for stopping by, guys. At the end, there's some close-up pictures for you. And um, have a fantastic weekend. Have a fantastic day. And we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.